While seeing overconfident teens take the wrong path isn't something new, what happens when the most arrogant of them are caught red-handed in the middle of their crime? We'll be taking you down to jail tonight. Okay, well, can I, can y'all back up so I can get my gun off of you? You freaking stupid! Huh? You freaking idiot! And you are... You are a freaking loser, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that thinks you have power because you're in the police force. Here are three crazy examples of arrogant teens getting what they deserve. Starting with the shocking case of an unidentified teen named Alex, who was acting crazy on the streets of Wisconsin. What did I do? You pulled your pants down in the middle of the road, dude. Do you have nothing better to do? No, I don't. Take your hands out of your pocket. No, you don't have nothing better. Okay, all right. Search me out. My job right now, Search you know what it is, is to deal with people that can't handle liquor very well and to keep order on this street. And you pulling Dude. your pants down and exposing your buttocks to a whole bunch of people is not order. The cops had already stopped him one time earlier that night for literally showing his buttocks to everyone, lifting his shirt up and saying, search up definitely doesn't help his case either. However, Alex changes strategies and starts verbally attacking the officers. <laughs> Dude, you're f***ing just bored. Look at, look at my f***ing You're boring pockets. me right now, okay? Just, no sh You might as well just... I'm not, I'm not quiet. being a danger to society. What's your phone number? Dude. And what's your current name? Am I right? You, you have, you have an issue. Listen, you're getting you, a ticket, okay? You were a f***ing loser in high school. Yep, I sure and was. And now you're trying to make up for it. Yep. You're not helping yourself. What's man. your address, I current know. address? Do you live in town here? No. Even after the cops have warned Alex about the potential charges he could face for his behavior, he still continues to act very arrogantly. <laughs> Just so you are aware, we are recording everything, so. Okay. Your behavior is documented, and okay. if you want to contest it, fine, like. because I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, but just understand that like, if you want to yeah. go for a judge yes, and first, I'm, contest it, I'm they get to 21, watch this whole, yeah. I can drink they as much as I They get to watch the whole want. video and see how you're behaving. So. Cool. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Arrest me. Ooh. Nothing. Search me. Don't Come need on. to search you. Come on, search me. Don't need to search you. Why not? It's not applicable to what we're doing. You're getting a ticket. Why is it not applicable? Way. Then why am I getting a ticket if I'm being if I'm not being searched? What am I getting a ticket for? You're getting a ticket for public intoxication. No, and that's fine too. I'll I'll pay the f***ing ticket. You think I give? A f I mean, no, I don't. Okay. That's fine. I mean, no. That's fine. You just you just you just a f***ing loser. That's fine. You're not gonna get under my skin, dude. No, I mm -hmm. no, and I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get it, under. It really, I've literally been doing this job longer than you. Yeah, know. I, yeah. I'm not really. Yeah, that's cool. About that's, tonight, that's, okay? that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like. Congrats, you want a medal? Although Alex has acted very poorly throughout the interaction, the deputies still decide to let him off with nothing more than a warning. That was until they ran into him the next night, continuing to act completely crazy. Hey, are you serious? Two nights in a row, you're going to get me fired. You can't have this on here. No, no, you're getting fired again. Stop. Alex knows he's in deep trouble, as it's the third time in two days that the cops have been after him. He decides to run. However, that doesn't really work as well as he thought it would. Okay, I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Hands behind your back. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Don't fight. Right. Stop fighting me, dude. I'm not fighting at all. Congratulations, you just turned an ordinance ticket into an arrest. I'm, I'm not fighting at all. I have never met somebody make so many bad decisions. What have I done? What, have I, what did I do? Please tell me what I did. Now it was an open container. What did I do? And then you resisted. Not only did Alex carry an open bottle of alcohol in public, which is illegal in the state of Michigan, but he also decided to run from the police. A very poor choice that would land him a night in jail. Yeah. He can go to jail. Okay. He caused issues last night too, so okay. I can't trust that he can be out here. What am I being arrested? Resisting arrest. I'm not talking about it. What do you mean? Resisting arrest. Dude, 
We're not even going to have this conversation. You ran from us. Do you really expect that? Right. Have a seat. Watch your head. Yeah, I will. Seriously, what am I being? I'm resisting and obstructing, and then. Resisting arrest for what? Because you ran from my partners and you fought with them. What did I run from them for? I don't know. I wasn't here. Exactly. What? This is such bullshit. I'm 21 years of fucking age. I. Then why did you run? What do you? Because I wasn't getting arrested for anything, ma'am. Please, I'm I'm a smart fucking kid. I've done nothing wrong. In the end, Alex was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, obstructing an officer, and carrying an open container of alcohol in public. Even though Alex was acting totally crazy, he never showed much violence towards the police. A stark contrast to that of Devin Whitmire who literally threatened to pull a gun on multiple police officers. So if that's confirmed, then you will be taking you down to jail tonight. Okay, well, can I, can you back up so I can get my gun off of On the 13th of May, 2023, a police officer ran into Whitmire, who had an outstanding warrant on him. The police had been looking for him for days after he had been causing trouble in a neighborhood in Asheville. As soon as Whitmire realizes that the officer is after him, he decides to try an unusual strategy to avoid being arrested. Uh -huh. Is it Whitmire? Yeah. What's that? Tevin. Devin? Tevin. Tevin. Yeah, right well, hold on, do you recognize me? No, sir. Do you, um, yeah, do you have ID on you? Because nah, I, you, I know you have a twin. Did you talk to somebody over across from Lee Garden yeah, about a couple days ago? 1837. No. Do you have ID on you? No. No. Devin pretends to be his twin brother, Tevin, hoping the officer wouldn't notice. However, he wasn't that easy to fool. The officer quickly called more officers to the scene as he wanted to inspect Devin further. I'm not here. I'm looking for Devin, not for can Devin. I, can I speak to y'all? Um, can I speak to y'all, um, whoever, whoever y'all got in charge? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay, that's um, fine. That's fine, I'm sitting right here. You can yes. I'm, I'm right here. Okay, that's fine. I said, right as here. long as you're Tevin, man, you're cool. I'm, I'm good with that. No, because I need your badge number at this point. I, you see, that's uh, the hospital put credentials. Yeah, 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 I see that. I see okay. that. Do you have any uh, tattoos on your upper arm here? Yes, sir. What, what are, are they? Sport 13. I'm sorry? Olympia Sport 13. Okay. How about the other arm? I got new tattoos. I just told you. So what's going on? So see, you've got my knee right there. No, on yeah, this arm. It's a new one. Okay. Me and my twin have the same tattoos. Obviously, they don't have the exact same tattoos. The officers know they are on to him, so they keep pressuring. Do you have any tattoos that your brother doesn't have? We're twins. We get all our tattoos the same. Is there anything to identify you that's not Devin, other than that wristband? Is there anything else that we can use? Yeah, I can. I used to stay right here. Yeah, it doesn't help. I'm talking about mail with my name on it. What, uh, what other tattoos do you have on your arm? What's me? I have, I have a lot of tattoos. I have Philippians 413 on my chest. That's okay, what else do you have on your arm? The John 316, like my twin. Okay, that's on the there. Why are y'all questioning me? I want somebody to come out here. In an attempt to stall, Devin asks for the supervisor. At this point, he already knows he's most likely going to get caught. Do you have any tattoos on this upper I'm not answering no more questions. What's going on? You're not telling me what's going on. Well, right now we think that you possibly got it as well. Okay. Well, I'm telling so that's you, why we're I trying to determine that you're not. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I'm trying to use your tattoos. Because you both have files, mm -hmm. and you both have tattoos listed on your files. But that's what I'm saying. I ain't doing that. Yeah, John 316 over I'm there. I'm answering no more questions. I'm a, what's up? All right, okay. so here's what's up. So they're confirming it right now, but based on your tattoos, we know who you are, and you do have an open warrant for your arrest. So if that's confirmed, then you will be taking you down to jail tonight. Okay, well, can I can y'all back up so I can get my gun off you? Where's your gun at? Don't worry about it, but I'm seeing it. If y'all, if y'all, I'm going to... Come relax, get my relax. phone. We're not gonna fight with the gun. You're gonna stay back no, there. No, that's what I'm telling you. Hey, just, hey. No. He just said he had a gun. Hey, y'all, we can fuck. Not only has Devin just been exposed for blatantly lying to the police, but he has also spat on them. 
As it turns out, this would only be the beginning of his chaotic arrest. Down, down, down. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Well, you just said you had one. No, fuck, I did. Although it looks like the officers have it all under control, Devin isn't done yet. He has more tricks up his sleeve. Just be still, please. Stop talking to him like please. Please. Right, stop. 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 No, no, no. After kicking and spitting on the officers numerous times, Devin was finally under control and in police custody. In the end, he was charged with multiple counts of assault, including assault on a government official inflicting serious injury. A few days after the arrest, it was revealed that Devin Whitmire never even had a gun in the first place. He just pretended to have one. However, this was not the case for Brian Holmes, who not only had a gun, but also decided to put it to use. You freaking stupid! Your huh? You freaking idiot! On September 15th, 2023, a major shooting incident was reported to the Volusia County Sheriff's Office. The victim, a woman, noticed a car approaching her from behind, driving erratically without its headlights on. The driver of this car, later identified as 18-year-old Brian Holmes, was swerving and causing another nearby vehicle to veer onto the shoulder. Holmes then attempted to pass between the vehicle on the shoulder and the victim's car, resulting in contact with the victim's rear bumper. According to the sheriff's office, Holmes continued driving along the victim's SUV for several minutes before randomly opening fire from his car window. He fired seven shots into the woman's car. Luckily, none of them made any contact. Detectives used license plate reader technology to trace Holmes' car and determine his residence. Within 20 to 30 minutes of the shooting, deputies arrived at the owner's address on Arcadia Street in Deltona, ready for war. Stop, 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 stop. It's about the car for us. Stop, both of you, stop. It's about the car for him, man, all right? No guns on you, nothing like that, man? All right, sit back for him, bud. We'll explain what's going on here in a minute, sir, okay? Sit back the car. Sit back the car. Okay, you don't have a gun or anything on you, right, man? All right, step away from the car. Step away from the car. Step away. Stop. Stop. Stay there. When asked if he has any guns on him, Brian Holmes says no. Just seconds later, however, that turns out to be a complete lie. Pay close attention to Brian Holmes as the detective takes him out of the vehicle. He stalls for a few seconds, trying to grab the gun, but gets caught in the act as the detective pulls him away from the car. We got him and the zero. Step over there for me. Step over there. Put him up against the front of the car. You freaking stupid! Huh? You freaking idiot! So you get Pull the gun out as we're trying to get, get him to step out of the car. Yes! No, we were trying to get him to step away from the car. 
Following the discovery of the gun, deputies took Holmes into custody for questioning. During the interview, Holmes explained the reason behind the shooting. He believed the woman's SUV had cut him off in traffic and struck his rear bumper. Holmes was subsequently charged with multiple offenses, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, discharging a firearm from a vehicle, shooting into an occupied vehicle, and possession of a concealed weapon used in the commission of a felony.